Hello, my name is Andy, and I am the village idiot, and I'm armed with a car and a GoPro, and an unhealthy amount of time on my hands. Welcome for the second time to a village and a parish with this name. The first time we saw one of these was in northeast Derbyshire. This is the Selby version. This is Barlow. Barlow is a small village and civil parish located in the Selby district of North Yorkshire, about 16 miles south of York. At the 2011 census, it had around 290 houses and a population of 753. Selby is the nearest town, just three miles away. The village is in a pleasant rural setting which has developed over the years as a ribbon settlement based upon what is now Park Road and Park Lane. There are three entrances to the village, two of which lead from the A1041 road between Selby and Campbellsworth. The other entrance is a single track road leading from the Selby bypass. There's no shop or pub in the village, the nearest pub is about two miles away. There's a primary school in the village, the local secondary school is in Brayton and the local college is in Selby. The village is in the ecclesiastical parish of St Wilfred, Brayton. Sadly, the village church is no longer in use as a place of worship. Even so, we will get a shot of that later. In recent times, Barlow Village could be best described as a dormitory village for commuters to Selby, York and Leeds. There are a number of country walks around Barlow which are also suitable for dog walking. Although quite a quiet place, Barlow has had issues with speeding traffic. There are many blind bends on the narrow lanes around here, most of which have no footpaths. Right, once again I've hit a linear village and unlike Seton Ross and Root, which are two episodes which came out earlier this year, I don't think this one has got any kind of footpath that I can use to get from one end to the other without having to walk all the way back down the one and only road through it. Um, so this one's going to be tough on the legs. Before the 19th century, Barlow was usually known as Burley or Barley. The village was historically part of the West Riding of Yorkshire until 1974. Evidence of Barlow was first recorded in 1020 in a survey of the estates of the Archbishop of York. After the Norman Conquest, it was part of an estate centred on Drax Manor. The only physical evidence of medieval settlement in Barlow is what you're looking at right now. These are the earthworks around the present Barlow Hall Farm. The furrow fields suggest that the area was in use around the time of the Norman Conquest. In 1520, London gentry family, the Thompsons, purchased the lands and built Barlow Hall and later the village chapel in the 16th century. The population grew during the industrial period and the main layout of Barlow was erected around this time. Much of the present housing was built in the last century. The village was the site of an airship production factory in the early part of the 20th century. Established by Whitworth & Co Limited, it was responsible for the construction of the 25R, R29 and R33 during the First World War. And as if you needed any kind of proof that Barlow has some railway history, there's even a train on the village sign. I love these signs in Selby because they always give you some kind of indication as to what was once here. That was very difficult to say, especially when it's cold. But the sign at the other end of the village shows something different. We have an ear of corn here on this one on Brown Cow Road. Barlow also has some railway history. In 1912, the NER established the Selby to Gaul railway line, which ran through the current Barlow Common Nature Reserve down to the merry-go-rounds at Drax Power Station. It enabled the construction of the airship factory and later an ordnance depot. Barlow Railway Station would serve the village from 1912 to 1964. After it closed to passengers, the line was still used by the ordnance depot and for construction on Drax Power Station until 1983. In the days of the local railway before its closure, Barlow Station's sidings were often used by the Royal Train as an overnight stop 
for the royal family. The Duke of Edinburgh is said to have once walked to nearby cottage to borrow a Bible. In the aftermath of the war, the site of the airship factory became disused and the factory closed being replaced by a munitions depot in 1930. When Drax Power Station began its construction in 1967, the supply depot was discontinued by the Ministry of Defence. The site had been mostly demolished by the late 1970s and all remains of it now lie under the ash tip of Barlow Mound. Over the years, the village has also been the site of a brickworks. There's some beautiful properties in Barlow. Absolutely fantastic houses. I wonder what the average house price is here. In fact, the average house price here comes in at £260,000. Demographics-wise, Barlow is 99.6% white British, has a population density of 85.64 and covers an area totaling 9.4 square kilometres. The services of the village are limited, with only a primary school and social club being the main amenities. Here is that school, Barlow C of E Primary. The village used to have a post office and public house, although both of these ceased to operate within the last century. Perhaps the most interesting buildings in the village are these next two which sit next to each other, Barlow Village Club and Barlow Village Hall on Park Lane. Barlow Village Hall was built at the time of the Second World War to house troops and officers. The hall and the club are the only surviving buildings from the former MOD Royal Ordnance Depot and were previously mess buildings. This part of the village also had a POW camp which was on Stable Road. The hall, the club building and the playing fields were purchased with funds raised by the residents of Barlow from National Power in 1997. The village hall is managed by the parish council. The hall is located towards the end of Park Lane and along with the playing fields is sometimes used by caravan clubs for weekend meets. There's a full-size football pitch, children's play equipment plus an enclosed area for toddlers. The car park is for users of the hall, club and playing fields, but not for overnight or long-term parking. Vehicles, as ever, are parked at the owner's risk. Barlow is, although you would never really know it from the main village, a riverside community. You just have to drive up Brown Cow Road to get to the banks of the River Ouse. The Ouse is just one of the natural landmarks around here. Most people will know Barlow for its two nature reserves. Okay, so this is fairly interesting. I believe this is Skylark Nature Reserve. Now, I'm not sure totally where this boundary line is that this sign refers to. Private land beyond boundary line, not a public right of way. Access will be prohibi prohibited on one day a year. Now, as far as I can tell, the boundary line must be this fence and the reason I'm saying that is because if you come across here you'll see behind this fence there's a sign there you go this belongs to Drax to Drax power station which you can see there the um, towel the cooling towers are behind uh, those trees there but I thought this was a nature reserve and as such I thought I'd be able to access it I don't want to risk trespassing so as such I'm not going to go any further than uh, than here but that's okay at least we know uh, where we stand I suppose with this one it's definitely private property at the very end of the village is a roundabout and beyond this is the gated entrance to the Skylark Nature Reserve and Education Centre the Skylark Centre lies at the heart of the widely acclaimed Barlow Mound Ash Disposal Scheme. The Nature Reserve is open to the public on Wednesdays and Sundays from 11am to 4pm, which explains why it wasn't open here as it was a Friday. The second reserve is of course Barlow Common, on the site of the old Selby to Ghoul Line, which was completely dismantled by 1986. It was declared a local nature reserve in March 2002. Before the site was purchased by the NER company, Barlow Common was used as an area for pasturing livestock. So once again, we're on the site of an old railway line, but the difference with this one is it's actually under the ground where the railway line once was. I've just read on this board here that the cutting was infilled. So everything that I'm standing on here is actually a few feet above the railway line. In fact, if we walk this way 
uh, to back towards the road, you'll see where the old railway bridge uh, used to cross uh, the, uh, the cutting. We'll go and find that next. In the 1940s, the area beside the station began to be used as a railway refuse and ballast tip. However, this would cease in 1983 after asbestos was discovered. British Rail later reclaimed the land and covered the ground with soil. As well as being a nature reserve, Barlow Common is also used as a scout campsite. It also has a privately operated day fishery. Now you might be wondering, where is the church here in Barlow? Well, it has one, but it's no longer in use for services. It's now been converted into a house, and it's this one right here on Brown Cow Road. Barlow Church is a lovely little grade two listed building on Brown Cow Road. It was formerly a chapel of ease. It dates from the 17th century and was restored and altered in both 1774 and the late 19th century. It's made of brick with dressings and a pantile roof and is now a residential property. Despite that, it still retains the name Barlow Church. At the end of Brown Cow Road is this building, the former Brown Cow Inn. A renovated building behind this houses a six barrel brewery named the Brown Cow Brewery. The brewery is run by the Simpsons and was formed in July 1997 and it's dedicated to creating genuine handcrafted cask beers using traditional methods. Okay, it's about time you guys had a picture of it for Barlow and here that comes right now. there you go that's Barlow in all its glory and what peaceful glory it is as well very peaceful village here in Selby certainly one of the ones that uh, in this kind of weather looks absolutely fantastic time for me to move on to my next one here in the district I've been Andy and this has been the parish of Barlow and I have been the village idiot and I'm out <laughs>